All right, gotta get in a funny mood. Gotta get psyched up. Here we go. What does the painter do when he gets cold? He just puts on another coat. <laughs> you know what really gets my gears turning? I wonder if Pfizer is going to like erect a statue of someone for all this COVID-19 stuff. I mean, after all, they have erected like half of the nation. <laughs> Phil's fun few minutes, where we talk about nothing for a few minutes to entertain you, to entertain me. It's how we pass the time in quarantine. What are we talking about today, Phil? We are talking about a repeated arrest, Tokyo escalators, and your mom's beaver. Man, I bought these shoes from a drug dealer the other day. I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. New story out of Tokyo, Japan. Apparently, they are now regulating escalators to where if an escalator is moving, you cannot walk up and down as a move. They're regulating escalators now, and they're gonna give out tickets to people who walk while the escalators are moving or run while the escalators are moving. There's been a huge influx of injuries, right, that they're trying to prevent, and it's kind of bogged down their emergency system. So, yeah, they're gonna start issuing tickets, and all you can do is just stand on it now and ride it all the way up and ride it all the way down. Kind of like your mom. <laughs> so this is a crazy story out of Connecticut. Apparently this woman was arrested four times in under 24 hours. Yeah, that's right. Apparently she was over at a boyfriend's house and they just broke up and she couldn't handle it. So she threatened to self-harm herself, cut herself, right? And then she's like, I'm going to blame you for it, dude, because you just dumped me. Uh, so yeah, the guy called the cops and they came and determined she was... <laughs> went down to the police department, they released her, they sent her to like a hospital for medical evaluations. While she was at the hospital, apparently she assaulted a nurse. That's arrest number two. She was released, she was told not under any circumstances to go back to her boyfriend's house. So what does she do? She goes back to her boyfriend's house. That's right. Arrest number three. There we go. She was super upset, so while she was in the cell, she actually stuffed the toilet with tissue paper and uh, trash and then uh, flooded the whole thing, so. I'm sorry, Karen. It seems like you're really angry and in need of some major psychiatric help. Your mom's got beavers. That's what we're gonna call it. Hoo oh boy, it's a little wet in there. I can hear him slapping. Speaking of your mom, did you see this? A group of moms in downtown Chicago are all up in arms uh, about their HOA and what their HOA is about to do. Apparently, there is a beaver problem in the uh, little lake and I don't know what else the beavers get into, like a stream area that they have uh, in front of their neighborhood. Uh, apparently, some beavers have gotten in there and they've raided like lots of wood and some of the surrounding, you know, pretty natural naturistic type stuff. They're, they're wrecking it, right? So the, the homeowners association came through and said, yeah, we're going to destroy them. We're going to get rid of them, um, which is fine, right? But apparently they didn't just mean like capture and release, you know, somewhere else in life. Um, they actually took these beavers and like trapped them and then like stuck their head underwater and like Drowned them. So now all these moms are pissed off and they're going to uh, basically law enforcement and everyone else saying this is, this isn't right. That is it for me. Stay safe, stay sanitary, and stay sane. I'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.